Makati, Mkati Tagalog pronunciation, Makati, officially the city of Makati, Tagalog, Ciudad ng Makati, or simply known as Makati City, is a first-class highly urbanized city in Metro Manila, Philippines. Makati is the financial center of the Philippines, it has the highest concentration of multinational and local corporations in the country. Major banks, corporations, department stores as well as foreign embassies are based in Makati. The biggest trading floor of the Philippine Stock Exchange is situated along the city's Ayala Avenue. Makati is also known for being a major cultural and entertainment hub in Metro Manila. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 582,602 people making it as the 17th largest city in the country and ranked as the 41st most densely populated city in the world with 19,336 inhabitants per square kilometer. Although its population is just half a million, the daytime population of the city is estimated to be more than one million during a typical working day because of the large number of people who go to the city to work, shop, and do business. Traffic is expected mostly during rush hour and holiday seasons. Etymology Tradition holds that a Tagalog at a swamp on the south of the Pasig River was asked by a visitor, who was Miguel López de Legazpi, for the name of the place. As a result of the language barrier the question was misinterpreted, the Tagalog pointed to the receding tide of the Pasig River, and answered, Makati, Kumakati na. Ebbing, the tide is ebbing. History Parts of the city were once subject to the pre-Hispanic Kingdom of Namayan, whose capital is now in the Santa Ana district of Manila. Captain Pedro de Brito, a retired aide to the Spanish Army Chief of Staff, is the founder and patron of the House of San Pedro. De Brito made a modest fortune in the Manila galleon trade in the 16th century. He was also a regidor of Manila, whose post was adjudged to him at public auction for 1,400 pesos of common gold, with the third part of what was promised from the increase. He took possession of his post on 24 June 1589. In 1589, he acquired at a public auction a sprawling marshland measuring 4,940 hectares, a part of which would become the 20th century Makati. After his acquisition of the land, Capitan de Brito immediately took steps to discharge the royal conscience, to fulfill, for the King of Spain, his duty to spread the Christian gospel. But he also ran into a brick wall, so to speak, the natives could not be persuaded to move inland. The Spaniards then assigned the area to the town of Santa Ana de Sapa and in the 1600s began to be developed as a pilgrimage center around the churches of Our Lady of Guadalupe, now Our Lady of Grace, opened 1625, and of Saints Peter and Paul, opened 1620, in what is today the Poblacion, built by missionary friars to attract worshippers, and also as a farming community. It became an independent municipality in 1670, and was christened San Pedro de Makati in honor of the town's patron, St. Peter. The town was also famous for its pottery industry since the 18th century, with skilled potters trained by Jesuit priests. Its strategic location also made it a pitstop for pilgrims, traveling by foot or boat, towards the Shrine of Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage in Antipolo. Beginning in the early 19th century, the church has been directly administered by diocesan secular clergy. In 1718 the Jesuits brought the image of Nuestra Señora Virgen de la Rosa from Acapulco, Mexico to the small town. It was later enthroned at the San Pedro Makati Church where it resides to this very day, and will mark its 300th year anniversary in June 2018. Until the Filipino-American War, the image had an ivory head and hands and a reliquary on her breast which contained a strand of a hair of the Blessed Virgin Mary, both of them stolen and were never recovered at the same time while the church served as a hospital, and are today replaced by an oval cavity and a wooden head and hands. The city's feast days on June 29, the Feast of Apostles Peter and Paul, and June 30, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rose are marked with the Panatang Seya. As the Bales de los Arcos, Dance of the Arches, are called, are an old tradition going back at least to the beginnings of the 19th century as a dance to thank the city patrons for blessings received by its people and by a number of events organized by city and religious leaders. 
In 1851, Don José Bonifacio Roxas, an ancestor of the Zobel de Ayala family, purchased the Jesuit estate of Hacienda San Pedro de Makati for 52,800 pesos. Since then, the development of Makati has remained linked with the Zobel de Ayala family and their company, Ayala Corporation. The town was a cradle of Filipino passive resistance against Spanish colonial rule in the 1890s and the subsequent Philippine Revolution, with the participation of the local Katipunan Council based in the area with Pio del Pilar, a local resident from the village of Kuli Kuli, as its president. Kuli Kuli is now a barangay named in honor of del Pilar. American period By 1898, Spain ceded the Philippines and other overseas possessions to the United States after the former's defeat in the Spanish-American War. In 1901, the Americans declared the whole area south of the Pasig River, including the town of San Pedro de Makati, down to Alabang and Muntinlupa, a U.S. military reservation, thus establishing Fort McKinley, now Fort Bonifacio. That same year, the whole town, with a population of 25,000, was incorporated from the province of Manila to the new province of Rizal, with Marcelino Magsaysay serving as the town president. As the 1910s approached, the Maralca Trandia lines to Fort McKinley and to the western end of the town were built, opening transport lines for its residents and thus brought along potential investors who opened several businesses including the famous Santa Ana Cabaret at the terminus of the streetcar lines. On February 28, 1914, the Philippine Legislature passed Act 2390, shortening the name, San Pedro de Makati, to simply Makati. In 1937, the airport Nielsen Field opened in what is now the Ayala Triangle, the control tower of which still exists and is currently a restaurant. The tracks of the now Philippine National Railways reached Makati early in the decade. During that same period, Santa Ana Park, the nation's second horse racing facility, opened to expectations from horse racing fans. Post-war After the destruction Second World War had brought upon Manila, and the subsequent closure of Nielsen Field, the town grew rapidly, and real estate values boomed. The first of the planned communities, in what are now the barangays Forbes Park, Urdaneta, San Lorenzo and Bel Air, were established in the 1950s with the efforts of its landowner, Ayala Y. Compania. At the same time, Fort McKinley, then renamed Fort Bonifacio, and the then Philippine Army Headquarters, became the starting point for the building up of seven more communities by military families who worked in the base area. The first office buildings were built on what is now the Makati Central Business District. Since the late 1960s, Makati has transformed into the financial and commercial capital of the country. During the terms of town mayors Maximo Estrella, Rafael Bañola, José Luciano, César Alzona and Nemesio Yabat, massive development of the town took place, and foreign and local investors were welcomed to what was tagged as the nation's number one municipality at the time. Makati S central location adjacent to the city of Manila also made it an industrial hub for major national and international corporations. Partly as a result a new town hall just miles from the old one was built in 1962 just along J.P. Rizal Avenue. The old hall was later converted into the city museum. Mayor Bañola S. Term of office as town executive saw the building up of what is now the Ayala Center with the help of the Ayala firm, which would become the city. S. Central Shopping Center of today. In 1975, Makati was separated from Rizal Province along with Caloocan, Malabon, Navotas, Quezon City, Marikina, San Juan, Pasig, Mandaluyong, Pateros, Taguig, Pasay City, Parañaque, Las Piñas, and Muntinlupa, to become part of the national capital region as a component municipality. Following the assassination of opposition Senator Benigno Aquino Jr. on 21 August 1983, Makati became a nexus for protests against the dictatorship of President Ferdinand E. Marcos. Known as the Confetti Revolution, the demonstrations held in the Central Business District were led partly by employees of major corporations based in the area, culminating in the 1986 People Power Revolution that toppled Marcos' 20-year authoritarian regime. His political rival and successor, Corazon C. Aquino the wife of the deceased Senator Aquino became the 11th and first female president of the Philippines. 
After the death of Mayor Yabat during the revolution, Aquino appointed Jejomar Binay as acting mayor of the town of Makati. He was subsequently elected as mayor in 1988. His first term as the town executive would see the events of a 1989 coup d'état attempt in the town's business district, and would help usher the building of the country's first skyscrapers in the early 1990s and full cityhood in 1995. On May 17, 2000 at 5.02 p.m., the Glorieta Mall located inside the Ayala Center was bombed, injuring 13 persons. According to local authorities, the homemade bomb originated from a restroom of a restaurant of Video Arcade. The bombing was said to be the precursor of the May 21, 2000 SM Megamall bombing and the Rizal Day bombings. On October 19, 2007, an explosion in Glorieta 2 left 11 people dead and injured more than 100. Initially, authorities said that it was caused by a liquefied petroleum gas explosion at a restaurant, but later began investigating the possibility that the explosion may have been a C-4 bomb. Geography Makati is located within the circle of 14 feet 40 inches degree north and 121 feet 3 inches degree E right at the center of Metro Manila. The city is bounded on the north by the Pasig River, facing Mandaluyong, on the northeast by Pasig, on the southeast by the municipality of Pateros and Taguig, on the northwest by the city of Manila, and on the southwest by Pasay. Makati has a total land area of 27.36 square kilometers, 10.56 square miles. Climate under the Köppen climate classification system, the city features a tropical monsoon climate. Together with the rest of the Philippines, Makati lies entirely within the tropics. Its proximity to the equator means that the temperature range is very small, rarely going lower than 20 degrees Celsius (68 degrees Fahrenheit) or going higher than 38 degrees Celsius (100 degrees Fahrenheit). However, humidity levels are usually very high, which makes it feel much warmer. It has a distinct, albeit relatively short dry season from January through May, and a relatively lengthy wet season from June through December. Cityscape Demographics Makati has a population of 582,602 as of the 2015 census. Makati ranks 9th in population size within Metro Manila municipalities. 88.9% of Makati residents identified their religious affiliation as Roman Catholic. Other groups having large number of members in the city are the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Ang Dating Don, Iglesia Ni Cristo, Protestantism, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism and Judaism, based on the city's Transport and Traffic Improvement Plan 2004-2014, the city's daytime population is estimated to be 3.7 million during weekdays, owing to the large number of people who come to work, do business, or shop. The daily influx of people into the city provides the skilled labor force that allows Makati to handle the service requirements of domestic as well as international transactions, it also serves as the base of a large consumer market that fuels the retail and service trade in the city. At the same time, however, the large tidal population flows exert pressure on Makati's environment, services, and utilities, most noticeably causing large traffic volumes along the major road corridors leading to the city as well as within and at the periphery of the central business district. Economy and infrastructure The city of Makati remains the richest local government unit LGU in the Philippines in terms of income from local sources and on a per capita basis. As of N2012, Makati had registered over 62,000 business enterprises, which are engaged in financial services, wholesale, retail, services, real estate, export, import, and manufacturing. Makati also boasts of having the highest number of BPO offices in Metro Manila at 1,159 companies to date, as well as the highest number of PEZA accredited IT parks and buildings. The city government of Makati has not increased its tax rates since its new revenue code took effect in 2006. The city has been free of deficit for 26 years. The city is known for its developed business district called the Makati Central Business District CBD. It is bound by EDSA, Gil Puyat Avenue, Arnaiz Avenue and Chino Rosas Avenue. 
It mainly encompasses Legazpi Village, Salcedo Village, the Ayala Center, and parts of Bel Air Village. The Ayala Triangle is a subdistrict of the Makati CBD, comprising the parcel of land between Ayala Avenue, Makati Avenue and Paseo de Roxas, as well as the buildings on those streets. Many multinational companies, banks and other major businesses are located within the Triangle. A few upscale boutiques, restaurants and a park called Ayala Triangle Gardens are also located in the area. Ayala Avenue and Paseo de Roxas also have the distinction of being the runways of the former Nielsen Field, Metro Manila's main airport in the 1930s. The biggest trading floor of the Philippine Stock Exchange is housed in Ayala Tower 1 and at the old Makati Stock Exchange building, both along Ayala Avenue. The Makati Business Club has over 800 chief executive officers and senior executives, which represents 450 of the country's biggest corporations. Most of the tallest skyscrapers in Metro Manila and the Philippines are located in Makati such as the PBCOM Tower, Gramercy Residences in Century City and GT. International Tower. PBCOM Tower along Ayala Avenue is the country's tallest office building, reaching up 259 meters. It is the headquarters of the Philippine Bank of Communications, or PBCOM. The PBCOM Tower is an office skyscraper ranked officially as the tallest building in the Philippines since 2001. It has a total ground to architectural top height of 259 meters 850 feet, with 52 stories including an 8-level radio tower. Shopping centers Makati is one of the most well-known shopping hubs of Metro Manila. Various shopping centers, offering both international and local retail shops, high-end boutiques, dining outlets and entertainment facilities can be found around the city. The Ayala Center is a major commercial development operated by Ayala Land located in the Makati CBD. The center is known for its wide array of shopping, entertainment and cultural offerings, making it a premier shopping and cultural district in the metropolis. It is a vast walkable complex with high-end malls that houses cinemas, local and international shops, homegrown restaurants and international food chains. The shopping malls that are located at the Ayala Center include Greenbelt, Glorieta, Park Square, and The Link. The Ayala Center is also home to three department stores namely, SM Makati, Rustins, and The Landmark. Aside from the Ayala Center, the Rockwell Center is also a popular shopping district in Makati. It is home to the Power Plant Mall. The Salcedo Saturday Market and Legazpi Sunday Market are popular open-air community markets. These markets offers organic products, specialty foods, fruits, vegetables, fish, gourmet items and antiques. There is also the Century City Mall, located within Century City, located near Rockwell Center, and behind the Makati Central Business District. It is a modern, high-end mall, and also dubbed the Mall of Modern Makati. Education The University of Makati, a public, non-profit university, is the city's flagship university. Other institutions of higher education include the Asian Institute of Management AIM, the Ateneo Professional Schools, Australian Catholic University, Manila Program, the Mapua Institute of Technology, Lyceum of the Philippines University Makati, Centro Escolar University Makati, Far Eastern University Makati, I Academy, The One School, Asian Seminary of Christian Ministries, ASCM, Don Bosco Technical Institute, Makati, Assumption College San Lorenzo, Colegio San Agustin, St. Paul College of Makati, Our Lady of Guadalupe Minor Seminary, Asia Pacific College, Colegio de Santa Rosa Makati, AMA Colleges Makati, Inc., Palanan Elementary School, among others. Existing landmarks J.P. Rizal Street Formerly known as Teheran and constituting part of the Santa Ana Poblacion Road, it is the first Makati Road which appears on Spanish colonial era maps. Magallanes Interchange The Magallanes Interchange, which was conceived in 1969 and opened in 1975, was one of the first structures of its kind in the country. Museo ng Makati 
Located along J. P. Rizal Street, the Museo ng Makati is housed in an old building, which was built in 1918 and has been used as Makati's town hall from 1918 to 1961. The museum keeps the records of Makati's history through a collection of rare photographs, murals, and dioramas. It also contains artifacts, such as the fossils of prehistoric animals and earthenware. The museum's architecture is a classic. Bahai na Bado, made of masonry at the ground floor and wood at the upper level. In 1934, during the reign of Mayor Nicanor Garcia, the structure was rebuilt using concrete materials. In 1958, while it was still used as a town hall, then Mayor Maximo Estrella had it renovated. In 1961, when the offices of the local government of Makati moved its office a few miles from this building, the old town hall was used as the municipal library. When the library was transferred to the new city hall compound, the old town hall was used as the Philippine Eye and Ear Infirmary. During the term of Mayor Jejomar Binay, the structure was converted into a museum through City Ordinance No. 186, enacted in March 1990. Nuestra Señora de Gracia Church The Nuestra Señora de Gracia Church is a Baroque Roman Catholic Church which was established in 1601 by Augustinian Fathers. Its original architecture is a blend of the late Spanish Renaissance and early Baroque design. The touch of the Renaissance period is found in the main entrance with rose window and simple Doric columns. The interiors and the window details, meanwhile, have influences of Baroque architecture. The floor plan, on the other hand, is Romanesque. During the Seven Years' War, this church was raided by the British, an event which marks the first time that Makati was affected by a global conflict. The church was damaged due to an earthquake in 1880 and in 1898 during the early skirmishes between American and Filipino troops. The Nuestra Señora de Gracia Church is one of the most popular wedding venues in Metro Manila. Saints Peter and Paul Church Tucked in D.M. Rivera Street and surrounded by skyscrapers and residential areas, Sts. Peter and Paul Church is the oldest church in Makati, which was opened to the faithful in 1620. It was built by Jesuit priest Rev. Pedro de los Montes at a site named Buenavista through the generous donation of Capt. Pedro de Brito in 1607, the church's architectural design is a rectangular nave with apse and sacristy, which is a usual design for colonial mission churches. The facade is composed of three-tiered papal and keys, symbols of the papacy, which was first occupied by St. Peter, one of the patron saints of the parish. Gabriela Salang Monument This monument is dedicated to the Ilocano revolutionary Gabriela Salang. It is located at the corner of the Ayala and Makati Avenues. Former landmarks Hotel Intercontinental Manila Opened in 1969 and located along Ayala Avenue at the eastern quadrant of the Makati Commercial Center, now Ayala Center, the Hotel Intercontinental Manila was the first luxury hotel in Makati. During its early years, it was among the top three hotels in the country, along with the Manila Hilton in Ermita and the Savoy Hotel, later becoming the Hyatt Regency, in Pasay City. It closed in 2015 and the building was demolished shortly thereafter to give way to a new development to be named One Ayala. Hagdang Bado This part of Namayan was sacred to early Tagalogs. Hagdang Bado, see photo, is mentioned in Chapter 61 of José Rizal's first novel, Noli Mi Tangere, and Chapter 3 of his second novel, El Filibusterismo. During the revolution on 10 June 1897, Gen. Emilio Aguinaldo and about 500 soldiers crossed the Pasig River at Hagdang Bado during the march to Biac na Bado in Bulacan. Rizal Theater this was the first luxury movie theater and performance venue in Makati and was located south of the Makati and Ayala Avenues intersection. It opened in 1960 and was demolished in 1989 to give way to the construction of the Makati Shangri-La Hotel, opened in 1993, which presently stands on the site. It shared the same name as the Cinematografo Rizal located in Manila, which was the first cinema not owned by foreigners. 
This establishment, owned by José Jiménez, opened as a movie house in 1903 and five years later its address was recorded as 155 Calle Azcaraga in Tondo, Manila. About a decade later its address was Calle Alea, now Alea Street, and Calle Azcaraga in Tondo. Santa Ana Cabaret this 20th century nightclub, photos, owned by an American named John Canson, was once advertised as being the largest cabaret in the world. It opened in Tejeros in 1921 and was in business until 1970, when a typhoon destroyed it. Famous patrons included President Manuel Quezon, Governor General Francis Harrison, and General Douglas MacArthur. It is also said that Edward, Prince of Wales once visited it. During World War II it was converted into a garment factory, producing shirts and military uniforms for the Japanese. After the Americans returned to Makati in February 1945, they converted their famous dance hall into a temporary medical facility. It was the forerunner of fashionable discos of the 80s and 90s, such as Manila's classy stargazer, as well as Makati's euphoria, faces, and Mars. Its modern counterpart is the Valkyrie nightclub in Taguig. Santa Ana Racetrack Opened in 1937 by the Philippine Racing Club, it was the first notable sport venue of Makati, and was the forerunner of other famous Makati sport venues where international competitions were held such as the Manila Golf Club, which located in Makati in 1948, the Manila Polo Club, which relocated to Makati in 1950, and the defunct Astrobol Magallanes, it was larger than the San Lazaro Racetrack in Santa Cruz, Manila. During World War II it became a military storage area, and as a consequence was targeted by aerial bombardment toward the end of the war. On 9 February 1945, it was at the Philippine Racing Club grounds that the Americans, advancing from Wack Wack Golf Club photo number 26A, and crossing the Pasig River using Amtraks, returned to Makati. Afterward, they built a pontoon bridge, seventh photo, which was one of two such temporary bridges they had to build after the last remaining bridges spanning the Pasig River, Bonsai, Jones, and Santa Cruz, MacArthur, were blown on 5 February. This pontoon bridge was damaged and knocked out by artillery fire on 10 and of February and was reported as having been repaired photo. The Art Deco buildings of the racetrack were later used as a headquarters by U.S. General MacArthur and also by Allied translators and interpreters. Horse racing resumed during the post-colonial period. Toward the end of the 20th century, an increase in the taxation of winnings combined with a rise in the ownership of TV sets led to a decline in attendance, which resulted in the closure of the racetrack in December 2008 and its demolition in 2013. Santiago Hospital The Santiago Hospital was a 20th-century medical facility in Poblacion. Originally named Hospital Español de Santiago, it was founded in 1902 in Manila by the Spanish community as an infectious hospital for the hospitalization of Spaniards who, having to comply with sanitary regulations concerning compulsory hospitalization, preferred the services of this hospital rather than those of the public San Lazaro Hospital. Its earliest known address was 1819 Calle Azcaraga, Quiapo. In 1929, the hospital moved into its own building, an Art Deco structure in Makati, and at the beginning of the 30s was one of two hospitals in Rizal Province. By 1935, this medical facility, which had 34 beds, was classified as a general hospital which treated all sorts of diseases except those requiring compulsory segregation in government institutions, and by that time was admitting patients of nationalities other than Spanish. During World War II, Santiago Hospital was administered by the Sisters of St. Paul of Chartres, and in February 1945 it had the distinction of being the only hospital in the Greater Manila area which remained open throughout the Battle of Manila. Santiago Hospital, which was once considered to be one of the best hospitals in the Philippines, closed in the 1960s as a result of the increasing urbanization of Makati. Although generally believed to be Makati's first hospital, it was preceded by a hospital in Guadalupe which existed during the First Republic, also over a decade earlier in 1884. The Spanish briefly operated in Guadalupe an orphanage, a type of institution which in their point of view was a medical facility. 
In 1917, the Americans also opened an orphanage in Makati, at Casa Quinta. Culture and sports Makati is home to a number of fine art museums, colonial-era churches and recreation areas. Along the southeastern border of Makati beyond Forbes Park are the Manila Golf Club and the Manila Polo Club. The Manila Golf Club features an 18-hole golf course. The Manila Polo Club counts among its polo enthusiasts some of the country's wealthiest people. The Makati Sports Club in Salcedo Village is another popular place for sports. The Makati Coliseum is another famous sports landmark in the city, where some of the biggest sports gatherings are held. The Ayala Museum is a private fine arts and history museum housing various exhibitions such as the Gold of Ancestors, an exhibition of more than 1,000 golden pre-Hispanic artifacts. Other popular museums also in Makati also include the Uchenko Museum and the Museo ng Makati. Makati has several Spanish-era churches, such as the Our Lady of Guadalupe and the Nuestra Señora de Gracia Church Our Lady of Grace, in the Old Town. At the Greenbelt Park stands the modern domed chapel of the Sto. Niño de la Paz. Between Forbes Park and Dismarinas Village is the Santario de San Antonio, a popular church for weddings in the Makati area. The National Shrine of the Sacred Heart is located in San Antonio Village. Makati also houses the country's only Jewish synagogue, Beth Yaakov. According to Time.com, Makati is not only the financial center of the Philippines, but also the selfie capital of the world. The University of Makati Stadium in Makati is currently home to Kaya FC Makati, who currently play in the Philippines Football League, the National Football League of the Philippines. Future development Ayala Land and the Makati Tourism Foundation launched a year-long campaign titled, Make It Happen, Make It Makati, to increase Makati's visibility as an arts and culture destination. The campaign is part of Ayala's ongoing $1.5 billion redevelopment masterplan for Makati, which began in 2011 and divides the city into six distinct hubs for business, lifestyle, entertainment, and transport. In 2013, Ayala Land unveiled its plans for a P20 billion project that will transform the old STA. Anna Race Track into a mixed use development, featuring entertainment and sports facilities. It will sit on a 21-hectare property, the last available sprawling landbank in Makati and will be dubbed as Circuit Makati, in honor of the STA. Anna Race Track, which is part of Makati's heritage as a former racing circuit. There will be a FIFA-sized football turf which will be used for games and for football workshops. It will feature a 2-hectare open-air events ground, which can accommodate up to 20,000 people. It will have links to the Makati Central Business District CBD, through Ayala Avenue Extension and South Avenue. Other future road linkages are potentially even a revived Pasig River ferry service. Transportation Major roads in Metro Manila surround Makati, such as Epifanio de los Santos Avenue EDSA, located in the southeast part of the city, the South Luzon Expressway SLEX, which intersect EDSA at the Magallanes Interchange, and the Skyway which is built on top of the SLEX. Land Two of Metro Manila's main arteries pass through Makati. The Epifanio de los Santos Avenue EDSA pass along the city. S southeast part and connects it with the cities of Mandaluyong and Pasay. The South Luzon Expressway SLEX, runs through the city's western part and connects it with the city of Manila to the north and with southern Metro Manila. The Manila Skyway, an elevated highway built on top of SLEX, provides residents coming from southern Metro Manila a fast way to reach Makati. SLEX and EDSA intersect at the Magallanes Interchange, which is the most complex system of elevated roadways in Metro Manila. Buses plying the Epifanio de los Santos Avenue EDSA, C4, route from Baclaran and Parañaque to Quezon City and Caloocan pass through the Central Business, Financial District daily. Jeepneys ply Makati's inner roads and connect the city to its surrounding towns and cities. The country's first ever e-jeepney and hybrid bus services were piloted in Makati. 
The buses are parallel electric hybrids, powered by an electric motor and a Euro 3 diesel motor. The hybrid buses ply the route from Gil Puyat Avenue, Tramo, LRT1 Taft, to Calayan Avenue, C5, which are considered among the busiest in the city's central business district, cutting through other major roads like South Superhighway, Chino Rosas, Ayala and Makati Avenues, Paseo de Roxas and EDSA. Other major roads in the city include Gil Puyat Avenue, which connects EDSA and SLEX in the north, Ayala Avenue, an important street that runs through the Makati CBD, and Makati Avenue, which connects Ayala Avenue with Gil Puyat Avenue, also extending north to cross the Pasig River to Mandaluyong. At the center of Makati is the Ayala Triangle, a park built on the former Nielsen Air Base. Railways The Metro Rail Transit MRT3, on EDSA has four stations located in Makati, Guadalupe, Bundia, Ayala and Magallanes. The Philippine National Railways has three stations, De La Rosa, Pasay Road and EDSA. In 2013, the National Economic and Development Authority NEDA, worked on a feasibility study for a $1.75 billion monorail project. The proposed 12.56-kilometer elevated monorail is envisioned to connect Makati, Bonifacio Global City and Pasay through the MRT Line 3 as well as the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. The present alignment being considered starts from the MRT-3, Guadalupe Station, enters Bonifacio Global City through the North Gate and ends at Ninoy Aquino International Airport Terminal 3. If approved, the monorail project can be completed by 2016. In 2015, the NEDA National Economic Development Authority approved the public-private partnership project for the Philippines' first subway, which will have stations at key points in Makati, namely MRT 3 Bundia, Ayala EDSA, Ayala Triangle, Makati Post Office, and PNR Bundia. Airport. The city is 20 minutes away from the Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Water The Pasig River is located north of Makati. The Pasig River Ferry Service has two stations, Guadalupe and Valenzuela. Local government the current mayor for the 2016-2019 term is Abby Binay, the daughter of former mayor and former vice president Jejimar Binay. Monique Yasmin Q. Lagdamio is the city's incumbent vice mayor. The vice mayor heads a legislative council consisting of 18 members, 8 councillors from the 1st District, 8 councillors from the 2nd District, the president of the Sangguniang Kabatan Youth Council Federation, representing the youth sector, and the president of the Association of Barangay Chairman ABC, as Barangay Sectoral Representative. The council is in charge of creating the city's policies in the form of ordinances and resolutions. Current district representatives of the city are Monser del Rosario, representing the 1st District and Luis Jose Angel Campos Jr., husband of Abby Binay, for the 2nd District. Barangays Makati is divided into 33 barangays, the smallest local government units, which handles governance in a much smaller area. These barangays are grouped into two congressional districts where each district is represented by a congressman in the country's House of Representatives. Congressional District I is composed of the barangays straddling EDSA, the barangays to the north and west of them, while excluding Guadalupe Viejo and Pinagquesahan, while District II are to the south and east of District I, including the two aforementioned barangays. The districts used to elect the members of the city council are coextensive with the congressional districts. Mayors Seal of Makati City The official seal of Makati depicts a silhouette of the territory of Makati. At the bottom is the Pasig River, located on the northern border of Makati City. The Guadalupe Church stands on the river and is the oldest church in Makati, a reference to Spanish religious influences. Behind the church rises the modern skyscrapers, for which Makati is well known. Behind the skyscrapers are 33 rays representing the barangays of Makati. International relations Diplomatic missions 
Most of the diplomatic missions resident in the Philippines are located in Makati. Sister cities Makati's sister city is Los Angeles, California. Makati is also twinned with Ramapo, New York and Vladivostok, Russia. See also List of renamed cities and municipalities in the Philippines Tourism in Manila References External links Official website West Valley Fault in Pasig City and Makati City 3233-17B Pasig West Valley Fault in Makati City and Taguig City 3233-22A Taguig Geographic data related to Makati at OpenStreetMap